Hello, my friends. This is Adam from the Hoboken Public Library, bringing you another edition of Simple Lego Machines. Today, we are going to make a spring-powered car. Now, we're not going to be able to see what's inside here, but what's inside here is a spring. And when you wind it up, it releases that and spins this right here. So if you wind it up this way, it spins it fast the other way. Now you can't probably see it too well on the camera, but I'll demonstrate it once the car is complete. So this is basically our engine for today, right? There's no battery, it just works with uh, a little bit of tension and backwards movement, but I'll show you how that works. Let's put our engine down here for now, put our axle here. So we've got everything laid out in front of us. Um, if you'd like to take a minute and pause the video and try to get as many of these same pieces as we have here, uh, go ahead and do that. If not, you can just watch how I build it and then you can use your pieces and build your own car. Um, it doesn't have to look exactly like my car. Um, I'm sort of making it up. So make it up with me and let's build some cool machines together. So first we're going to start off by securing our engine. So we want to take these two pieces and this piece and two of these. Now these, if you'll notice, are longer than these, right? So we want these. What we're going to want to do, we're going to want to put, let's see here, put one here and one here so that you can see it on either ends. And then we're gonna put these pieces, one right here and one right here. So we should have this right now, pretty cool. So this is gonna be the back portion of the body of our car. Let's build the front portion. So let me show you a little bit how what our car is going to look like. So we're going to lay it all out so we can kind of plan what to do here. It's going to look something, let's see, it'll look something like this by the time we're done with it. So now that we know what it's going to look like, Let's put these pieces away, this here, and let's put this together. And let's put it together so it's nice and strong. So we're gonna take two more of these long connectors and we're gonna thread them through this middle piece here, just like that. And we're gonna put this in here and this in here, and that's nice and strong. Cool. Now we're gonna to wanna to attach everything together. So let's figure out where we wanna put these holes and where we wanna put the connectors. So let's pop a connector here, right in that middle one. And we'll put one on the corresponding side right there. Cool. And now we're going to take this and we're going to put four connectors. One, two, three, and four. So now we've got four small black connectors on there. So let's start putting this together some. We've got our engine. We've got the back bit here where our axle goes through, right? So we wanna make sure that this back hole is free so that it can go through our axle here. Kinda like that. So now that we've got that in, let's take this and let's put this 
in, oops, sometimes you want to use just a little bit of force, just like that. So now we've got this going, we want to put this side on, and that'll help to hold it a little more fastly together. There we go. Now it's, now it's looking like something. It does have a little wiggle back here, but that's okay because once we put this axle through here, it won't wiggle. Now it's nice and strong. And we've got the basic car together. Now, let's add a little bit of flare. We could just put the wheels on, right? We could just pop the wheels on, have a good time, but that looks okay. Let's make it look a little cooler, shall we? So we'll take some more of these connectors here. If you notice in the background, we have uh, Petey the Pirate and Benny the Spaceman. They're watching us. Bill today, um, actually, I don't want to put him in here. And we also have Petey's Treasure. And a lot like last video, we're going to use our car to move Petey's Treasure. So, Let's uh, let's get rolling on the cool parts. We want to put this piece right here. So we want to connect this in. We want to put one connector right here. We want to put another connector right here. We don't want to use this back one, right? Because that's where our axle goes. So we got to keep that free. So we'll put that right there. Now we can put this on here. And if you'll notice, again, can get it there we go that hole is free and we need it to be free because we need to put our axle in there so let's pop two more connectors on one right there and again in the second one in because this one needs to be free it needs to be empty and we'll pop this on here just like that and now in case our car goes a little too fast we're going to want to attach some cool parts. So let's do that. We're gonna take this, we're gonna take two more of these black connectors, our last two. Boom, we wanna take two of these gray pieces. If you see this gray piece has one hole here and one part here for an axle. So we wanna put this in like this so that the axle part's facing this way. We want to repeat that on this side so that the axle part's facing this way again. And we're going to lay this right here and we're going to very gently thread this gray axle through. And this is going to keep this on. Cool. Now that looks like a race car. Okay. We're almost ready for our wheels. In fact, you know what? I say we're ready for our wheels. So let's grab one of our big axles and we'll put it through here. We'll take two small bushings, take two of these, put one on either side. Great. And all this is doing is eating up a little space of this axle so that the wheel fits on nice and snug, but not too snug. Because if the wheels are on too tight, it's not going to do what we want it to do, right? So right now, we've got the axle in. And if I roll this wheel backwards and let it go, the spring in here is going to release, sending the wheel forwards. Let's put the front wheels on and we'll give this puppy a little bit of a spin. Now, you probably will also notice that we've got some extra pieces on the table. That's because we're not quite done yet. Now, does our car work? Absolutely it does. In fact, let's give that another go. Whoa, really works. But it doesn't really hold our treasure. Oh, that's not good. Petey's not gonna be happy with his treasure falling all over the place. Besides, 
we have all these extra pieces. So let's get some of these pieces in. Let's pop our car here. We're gonna take two of these blue pieces, one with a connector, one with a little axle on it. We're gonna put them right in here. We're gonna take this, two of these pieces. See, got one with this hole, one with the axle. Put one here, put one here. We're gonna take two, again, two of the same pieces, these pieces. We're gonna put these on. Doesn't matter if the holes are facing up or down. We're gonna take our last pieces here and we're going to put them in just like this. And lo and behold, we have a treasure container. Holds that treasure in pretty well. Let's take it for a spin. Great. Well, guys, thank you again for staying tuned for another cool Lego build. I wanted to show you what we're going to make next week. Or I'm sorry, this coming Friday. I'm going to show you guys how to make a windmill. Stay posted. We're going to have a Lego simple machine building program uh, in the near future. Um, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, why don't you visit hobokenlibrary.org and check out all of our amazing e-resources. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Goodbye.